Moringoplasty, Wikipedia article audio. Moringoplasty is the closure of the perforation of pars tensa of the dimpanic membrane. When moringoplasty is combined with ossicular reconstruction, it is called tympanoplasty. The operation is performed with the patient supine and face turned to one side. The graft material most commonly used for the surgery is temporalis fascia. The tragal cartilage and tragal perichondrium are also used as the graft by some surgeons. Technique of Surgery Underlay Technique Overlay Technique Advantages Contraindications Moringoplasty restores hearing loss in certain cases of tinnitus. The chances of reinfection and persistent discharge is less after surgery. Moringoplasty should not be performed if there is active discharge from the middle ear, or if the patient has uncontrolled nasal allergy, or when the other ear is dead and in children less than three years of age. Moringoplasty is often done under general anesthesia but it can be done under local anesthesia also. The temporalis fascia is grafted. An incision is made along the edge of the perforation and a ring of epithelium is removed. A strip of mucosal layer is removed from the inner side of the perforation. The middle ear is packed with gel foam soaked with an antibiotic. The edges of the graft should extend under the margins of the perforation and a small part should also extend over the posterior canal wall. The tympanomiatal flap is then replaced. The temporal fascia is harvested. An incision is made to raise medial medial skin with tympanic membrane epithelium. The graft is placed on the outer surface of the dympanic membrane and a slit is made to tuck it under the handle of malleus. The ear is packed with gel foam and antibiotics, and the incision is closed. Finally mastoid dressing is performed. <laughs>